This valve has to open 25 times per second at 3000 RPM during the four stroke cycle. 1001, bam, it just opened 25 times. It better open right, or it's gonna look something like this here. This one's bent, the valve's all burnt up on the bottom, not a good thing. Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. How do we make it right? Well, it's all about the valve spring, my friends, right here. This valve spring actually is gonna cause that valve to close and open and have tension on it. What's a valve spring? Well, there it is right there. You can see it, the retainer, the valve springs in the middle, the valve sticking up in red there. And then later we'll talk about that stem seal, a very important part of the puzzle. What can you do with the valves? Well, you can do a couple measurements. The first one over there is installed height. What you can do is install the valve, take a veneer caliper or micrometer and measure that. It has to be right or that valve's not gonna operate. This other one over here, take a straight edge, make sure it's not warped and then you want to measure the actual free length of the valve when it's not compressed. You can measure that as well. Actually, let me show it to you. There's a lot of things you can do with the cylinder head to make sure it's right. And the first thing you're going to have to do is remove that valve. So you're going to have to get a spring compressor, a magnet. You want to take that valve and that spring off so we can make all the measurements that we're going to make. Once you get that valve spring off, well, you want to make sure and do a good visual inspection. Make sure it's clean, make sure everything's right, check it for cracks, check it for heat checking, all that stuff on there. Well, there we are right there, spinning it around. Just checking, making sure the height's right, that they're all even and equal. And then what you want to do is use a pressure gauge. I'm going to come down to that installed height and then read the pressure and then do the free length. That spring has to open and close that valve correctly or you're going to have problems. Now, another piece of the puzzle is that valve seal. That valve seal, Len, that thing's gotta stop all that oil from getting down in there. Intake stroke, sucking that stuff down in there. Even the exhaust strokes, creating a venturi and sucking that oil in there. It's a problem. It can be, and you end up with combustion gases going past that seal. You end up with unburned fuel and air getting past that seal, you end up with buildup. So what you wanna try and do is avoid it from happening, but we also have products that can help with it if it does happen. Now, if it does happen, your valve winds up looking like that. Man, that's a ton of buildup. How can we prevent that in the first place? Well, you want to use a, a fuel additive. The fuel that we're seeing you know, coming out of the pumps today could use a little help on the additive side of the fence, especially with gasoline direct inject. There's a lot of tendency for intake valve deposits. So use a uh, product such as AMSO Performance Improver or AMSO Upper Cylinder Lube to help keep those deposits from forming. Now, if they did form and they look like that, can AMSO help us? It can. In an extreme situation, we've got an aerosol called Amsoil Power Foam that is some nasty stuff. You can get that down the intake track, let it sit on that carbon buildup, and it'll actually remove it quite nicely. Man, that's awesome. You can avoid all this on your valves by routine maintenance and using a quality product. And yep, you can find those quality products at amsoil.com.